Let's look at another example. A particle of mass 15 kilograms is suspended vertically from a point P by a string. The particle is pulled horizontally by a force F per kilogram weight so that the string makes an angle of 30 degrees with the vertical. Calculate the value of F and also the tension in the string. So we have a diagram given to us. Now again we're dealing with equilibrium forces so when we put these three forces in a diagram it's going to be a closed triangle. So that's my first step I need to move everything into a diagram. So I'm going to start with my 15 kilogram weight Then I'm going to do my force because it comes straight across. And then my tension was at 30 degrees to the vertical. So this is my tension with 30 degrees there. Okay, we also have that this is a right angle, which makes our lives very easy because we're just using trig. Label our triangle, opposite, hypotenuse and adjacent. So start with one of them. We have adjacent. So let's start with tension. So it's AH, so that's cos. cos theta is A over H cos 30 is 15 over T swap the T and the cos 30 T is going to be 15 over cos of 30 Now if we want to, we can answer this in exact form. Okay, if this was tech free, you would have to answer it in exact form. If it was tech active, you could use your calculator. But cos of 30 is square root of 3 over 2. So we have 15 over root 3 on 2, which gives us 30 on the square root of 3. We need to rationalize our denominator. So that gives us 30 root 3 on 3, which is 10 root 3. So that's our tension. Now you could now use Pythagoras because I know that this is 10 root 3. So let's use Pythag. C squared is A squared plus B squared. 10 root 3 or squared is going to be 15 squared plus our force squared. So our force squared is going to be the 10 root 3 or squared minus 15 squared. 10 root 3 all squared, 10 squared is 100, root 3 squared is 3, 100 times 3 is 300, minus 15 squared is 225. So that gives us 75. So our force is the square root of 75. That's the square root of 25 times the square root of 3, which is 5 root 3. Finish with the therefore statement. Therefore, the force is 5 root 3 kilogram weight and the tension is 10 root 3 kilogram weight.